Wine for me, take it slow Do you wanna wait for the door? I'm a rock star, yes, you know When I enter, they go down low Ooh, yeah. Busy, 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 busy from three that night Hi, YouTube, it is your girl, V Gucci And I am back with another video, okay? This video is going to be on how I get ready for an African wedding. Push that subscription button and stop playing yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna start by filling in my brows. Y'all know the routine. So guys, I am back with my brows on. Um, I did my brows off camera because I really wanna post a separate video for my brows. I get a lot of requests on my brows, but I'm using my Pond's Moisturizer. Like I told y'all, I've just been, my skin has been waking out. So I just want something super gentle that is not going to give me no wahala. I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Mattifying Primer to all over my face. reason I'm doing this is I'm going to an African wedding where I'll be shaking my butt. Eh? I'll be shaking my butt well, well. So, you know, I have to get all that sweat in control. I love, 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 love. I live up for this primer. If you don't have it, sis, just don't waste your time. This gun diet is quite amazing. It's so cooling to the skin and it feels so, so good. My shade and double wear have changed. I hate that I'm getting lighter, I really do. But I now wear a color called Maple. This is a new color to Estee Lauder. I don't know if you guys know, but they kind of extended their foundation line. And it was an amazing time for me not to be the color of my foundation because I got to re be rematched. And I found another color that I love on my skin, okay? Love, love, love. And the reason I use double wear is because there's nothing like double wear. If you want your foundation to be on all night, this is exactly what you need in your life. So, I'm gonna follow. I'm using my beauty blender to dab all over my dark spots. I'm literally breaking out. Literally. Isn't that like a really good color match though? Today I'm going to be using my Morphe palette in boss mode. Ugh, live. Okay, ever since I got these pa this palette, sorry it's so dirty. I can't get my hands off of it. Morphe, you're just so amazing. Like, I love, love, love your eyeshadows. But I'm going to be reaching for this brown color right here. These two are really similar. But they're usually like my transition shades. And I'm gonna be placing that all over my crease. Check that. I like to put medium colors, like the medium, I'd like to arrange my color eyeshadow from light, medium, and dark, right? I usually typically use three colors, max like five. But I usually arrange it in that order, and I always go for the me medium color and my crease. For my corner, though, if I find all my brushes, for my corner, I want to grab, I want to grab this darker brown from this palette, placing it in my corner V. And I'm going to grab my blending brush and blend that. I'm going to be using this to formulate some type of cut crease situation. This is the part you want to be careful. So you don't, if you have hooded eyes and you have like a lot of upper lid, you want to make sure that you're cutting it right at the right spot. I'm not much of a fan of those people that extend their lid all the way up here knowing that your lid don't even go in that direction. If you don't just keep your lid where it's supposed to be. You know, hooded eye, hooded eye problems. Beat. And once I've done my little cut crease situation, 
I'm going into this Morphe palette. This is an older palette. This is my Morphe 350, hence why it's been burned and all this jazz. But I want to pick up a very, very um, beautiful nude color. I want to go for this color right here. I'm going to be laying it, packing it right on my lid, like so. As long as you have your transition color, you're always good, right? But first, I want to start with my dark color, my darkest color, which is the brown. And I'm going to pack that again in this area and just leave that. Pack it again over here and just leave it. Pick up my blending brush and grab that lighter color. And then I'm going to use it just to kind of marry everything well. You know, clean it all up. Bottom, corner, just clean it up. I'm going to go in with the greatest liner in the world. I guess I'm honestly forming bougie because this liner is not cheap, but it has me addicted, like addicted. But this is the Clay de Peau liner in black. And I'm gonna just basically draw, and an, this is how I draw my wings. I go, boop, to the side, okay. And then I'm gonna go from the corner, pull that B in, and then pretty much just fill. I'm gonna go back in and clean it, but now I'm gonna go concealer. And now, Sometimes y'all feel like when like y'all are doing the beauty blender, like it's adding and also taking away. Cause I feel like it probably took some off right here. Yes, yeah. Grabbing the best setting powder still in this world, Sasha Buttercup. And I'm using a very little, I don't like to bake. I think y'all have peeped that by now. I don't really like to do all those intense baking. So I just kind of dab. Press it in and move on. <laughs> I look so, when you highlight and you don't contour, you just look white. Okay, this is the importance. I always tell my clients, this is the importance of bronzer. You need a bronzer in your life, sis. If you don't have a bronzer, you need one. You don't have to go super duper dark, but at least get like a powder that is not your same skin tone. And I'm gonna be using that to snatch and give my face back some shape. I wanted to contour a little bit heavier because a lot of people tell me I don't contour enough. So that's why I'm using this powder from Black Radiance. I believe I'm using color called Cafe. I don't think I know I am. I just read it. For my nose, I don't like to use, I always say this, I don't like to use that color. I think it's way too dark. So I like to use my former foundation color in MAC. <laughs> when I said the name of this, people was like, you are not that color, Vanessa. I used to be this color, for real. I use it for my nose contour. This is my Real Techniques brush. I really feel like I like, like, this one is too, this is good for applying a foundation. This is good for really pushing something into your skin. Like, watch this. I'm gonna push that color that I just laid there into my skin, and it's gonna look so much more natural. I mean, I'm sure this can do the same, but 
I just really like my rose techniques, y'all. I just really like it. Okay. Nose is snatched. I'm gonna grab my Lancome mascara. This is another. This is part of that gift that I was telling you guys about. The gift of the mirror. So hey, thanks for the mascara, Lancome. This mascara is good too. This is their. Um, which one is this? Is this the Finestales? No, this is Hypnos Drama. Mascara is really, really good. Really good. I love the brush on it. I just realized I forgot to set my duo. Remember I tell you guys, always set your duo to start drying when you start your makeup. So by the time you're done, it's perfect. I forgot. I know my lashes kind of look good, but y'all can't even tell. This is sad. This is because I don't have no lashes. So I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury um, Climax blush. Climax. <laughs> I shouldn't have winked because I got mascara down here. It's because I'm a pervert. And I'm going to be grabbing my Trish McAvoy um, Highlight Bronzer. I'm going to place that. Boop. My favorite highlighter. I own others, guys. I promise. I just really really like this and I'm going to be using it underneath my brows now I love doing this okay add that little bitty glow you know shining 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 yeah <laughs> Uh, my sister hates this part, but, you know, I need you to see me from the moon and back, sis. So I gotta snatch my nose. Okay, how are you guys digging this so far? While my lash glue is drying, I'm going to be using a new baby to my collection. The Lila B Setting Spray. Love, 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 love 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 okay the owner of this line is an amazing woman an amazing woman i'm so lucky that i got to have met you but her setting spray it's all vegan it's all natural so it's so gentle on the skin <sighs> it's like the only like luxurious vegan or natural skincare slash makeup line that there is well my store just got it in store but i I live for this setting spray. It is the bomb.com. Especially right now when I love mattes and I like double wear and I like a mattifying primer. I began to dry, sis. This just puts me all the way together, honey. Just applied my lashes off camera. I'm sorry, guys. But I have a video. I wanted to do it separate so I can have that video coming out on its own. But now I'm going to be going in with, you know, your girl's favorite lipstick, honey. I'm using this lip liner. It's like a brown lip liner. It's called Black Cherry from NK. And I'm going to be going in with the cutest. This is like the travel size of my favorite NARS lipstick. It's so cute. And uh, you can't have enough of a good red lipstick. Like, you need it at multiple spots at all times, you know? I have to. Have to, have to, have to. <laughs> Pop my highlight. In my tear door, honey. It's like my favorite part of makeup. And it's really only the highlight that I really like like that in that area. Everything else is like, okay. You know? Shine bright like a diamond. Caro, I need pas claro. You a diva, yes I know. It be you I'm talking to. I'm loyal, 
Cause I'm loyal to you, to you. Give me loving, give me loving, no. Cause I'm loyal, cause I'm loyal. Shawty, 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 shawty. He's going to be good. Shawty, he's going to be good. Shawty, he's going to be good. Shawty. What do they think? Hi guys, it is your girl V Gucci. A little bit more glam than I ever really am, but I really enjoyed filming this video. I wanted to kind of explain my culture to people that are not Nigerian, people that are not African. We have really big glamorous weddings, okay? Weddings is everything. It's all about family and coming together and slaying, honey. That is why I love my culture. But I put this video together to kind of give you guys a glimpse of what getting ready for an African wedding looks like. I really hope you guys love this outfit that I put together. Well, that I designed and handed off to the designers. I'm going to tell you guys the name of the designer that designed my dress. It is Innie's Closet Obsession, I believe. But they did a really bomb job with the style that I gave them that I wanted. I thought my outfit was, like, amazing. I'm going to make sure that I tag them in the bottom. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? Um, yeah, I'm so happy I finally got it out there. Oh, by the way, all my jewelry, I'm so cheap, guys. I bought it from Harwin, okay? I believe this was like $11. If you live in Houston, you know what Harwin is. It's like $11 in Harwin. It's like the Asian cheap, it's like AliExpress, but in a store. So you can buy like really fake, beautiful jewelry <laughs> pieces. I got this necklace and this earring. Not my watch, but I also got this there. And that is pretty much it. And my hair is just really big and teased out. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it. I had so much fun dancing on here. I wanted to dance more, but I didn't want to be like, you know, doing the most. But <laughs> thank you guys. And uh, stay tuned for my next video. Mwah, 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 mwah.